Hey, what is going on guys? Mute Gaming here. So before the video starts, I want to give a quick apology and say sorry I haven't uploaded in a while, like a week and a half. I've been really busy with exams and schoolwork. I'm sure a lot of you guys are going through the same thing right now. Maybe, possibly, I don't know. Um, but today we're going to be doing a top 10 multiplayer video games. And there's one game on there in particular that is really controversial in the gaming world. But I don't know, a lot of my friends and I, we seem to like the game. But I think the majority of the games on there are really popular with gamers all around. And I hope you guys really enjoy the video. Let me know down in the comments below. And if there's a video that's not on this list that you guys really like and it's multiplayer, please leave it in the comments below. I'd love to hear your feedback about it. And also, in case you guys haven't noticed by the end of the video, I just want to put it out there. These clips are not mine. Not mine. Not mine. Uh, these clips I've gotten from other YouTubers. You can check in the description down below to go check out their channels and all that stuff. They're great YouTubers, great clips. Uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Peace out. See you later, guys. All right, at number 10, we got ourselves Halo 3 from 2007. Now, the reason I put Halo 3 on here is because it's a great game and it's classic. You can run around, uh, boots on the ground, you can go in ships, there's just a lot of fun. You can run people over, private matches, uh, you know, it's everything that you want in a game. And you can snipe like crazy, as you can see in this clip, as well as use rocket launchers that can get crazy amount of kills just with cheap shots. It's awesome. Uh, a lot of fun to run around with friends by yourself. It's really suited for everyone. So if you're looking for a new game that's a little older, I'd suggest Halo 3. Uh, their campaign though, their campaign really is emotional kind of, so to speak. Uh, I won't spoil anything, but the ending you definitely don't want to miss. Alright, at number 9 we got Original Star Wars Battlefront 2 from 2005. Now the reason I put this here is because it is one of the best classic video games in my opinion. You can play as any era character, you can play across all different planets, different space battles, everything. Play with your friends, by yourself, uh, you can even take over the whole galaxy as whatever side you favor. You can play heroes versus villains mode where it's just only the heroes and villains. You can even go into space, which I think is so fun. You can fly into enemy ships and you can take them out from the inside, or you can just take them out from the outside and just bomb them away. And score your team the most points and eventually just win the game. I think that's one of my favorite features are the space battles. I can't get enough of them. And if that's not enough for you, you can even do Order 66. It's crazy awesome. Explains a lot of stuff overall. Alright guys, a number 8 spot. We got COD Modern Warfare 3 from 2011. I remember playing so much survival on that. Oh, those juggernauts. What fun they were. Loved playing against them, really did. They never really died on the lower levels unless you crammed a predator missile down their throats. Alright, their multiplayer was so fun to me in my opinion. I thought that those sentry guns were super fun to use, but if you were up against one, chances are you're not going to survive unless you got a riot shield. But I didn't have to worry about that, because I spent all my time in infected. Loved that mode, I really hope they add it to World War II soon can't get enough of that mode overall. But you know that feeling when you were playing infected and you were one of the infected and the enemy team got a Moab? Well, that's a feeling I got quite a bit, because I never got one in Modern Warfare 3 because I was that little noob at that time. Alright, I won't spoil anything from the ending, but if you haven't played it, go buy it, play the ending, it's definitely worth the time to see how it ends. Number 7, Battlefield 1 from 2016. This game, I will have to admit, has some of the best graphics that I've seen from the current gaming world right now. And another thing is you can share so many laughs with uh, with your friends playing online. Alright, and I don't have any clips of it, but you can choose one of four classes to play each game between Assault, Medic, Support, and Scout, and each class has its own weapons to kind of mold to your play style, which I think is a really cool touch that Battlefield inserted. I mean, if you don't find something that you like to do in Battlefield 1's multiplayer, I don't know what to tell you. You can fly planes, you can drive trains, cars, ride horses, everything that you can want in multiplayer is there. 
but their campaign is kind of the only one of its kind. It allows you to reach out for every different side of World War I and see how each side saw World War I. Alright, here come the hate comments, but number 6, COD Ghost 2013. I mean, come on guys, what's there not to like? You can have space cats on your guns. You can play as Captain Price, you can play as Soap. What's there not to like? People say that this game was just bland and was too similar. I thought it was the first Call of Duty to actually step out of its comfort zone. You're allowed to customize characters, you're allowed to play as special characters from other games, your guns, and everything like that. The in-game content that you can buy, or not, your call doesn't change how you play, is unbelievable. Alright, their campaign. Their campaign, I really enjoyed personally, and I thought it went in a really cool kind of perspective, because once Modern Warfare 3's campaign was done, there wasn't much more you could do. So, I thought this was a good first step into a whole nother series of campaign, but turns out they might not be making any more and they leave you on one heck of a cliffhanger. Alright, another Call of Duty at number 5, COD, Modern, oh my gosh, English is not with me today, World War 2, I mean, what's there not to like about it? You can run around with a shotgun that sets people on fire, I mean, that's insane. Don't get me started on the shovels, the shovels are one heck of a time, you can run around just shanking people 24-7, I think... You know, yeah, just shovels. They're fun. <laughs> Use them. <laughs> All right. Another thing that you can do is run around the map and find yourself one of these mounted LMGs. I think they're super fun to use and rack up quad feeds, uh, you know, it's kind of the only way I get kills in powder anymore. But besides that, we also got zombies. Alright, then we got some zombies again. I don't think I need to really go in depth with them. You guys get the gist, survive, die, what- Alright, then we make it to our campaign for World War II. Some people have said it's their favorite campaign out of all the Call of Duties. It has great graphics, I haven't played it yet, but I'm looking forward to playing it. Number four, we got Player Unknown Battlegrounds from 2017. Basically, you gotta jump out of a plane in the beginning of a game, run around, and go find yourself some loot and weapons. And if you don't have any clothes on, go find yourself some clothes. You can pretty much go anywhere you want in the map, drive around in cars, drive around in motorcycles, sidecars, whatever. The best part is that you can do this all alongside with friends. You don't have to go alone. You can team up and take over the map. It's kind of like a Hunger Games kind of style, if that makes sense. You just run around, find weapons, and kill the other players. Now don't get me wrong, it's just not that simple. It is a hard game to get used to, but once you get used to it, you should have a blast playing with your friends. Now, this game takes a lot of time as well. You gotta manage yourself, not to just run around and try to shoot people. You gotta collect stuff to, you know, build up to being one of those top players and being able to survive to be the last one. But on the way there, I bet you and your friends are going to have a ton of laughs. Number 3, yes, another Call of Duty, Black Ops 2. Now, the reason I put this on here is because this was another one of the, uh, those Call of Duties where it kind of stepped out of its original comfort zones from the previous CODs. It allowed you to have diamond instead of just plain gold. It allows you to make emblems of pretty much anything you want to show off. Alright, and back to the zombies. Black Ops 2, by far, is my favorite zombies game of all time. Now, the characters that you can play as, you really get attached to, because they're from Black Ops 1. You get to play as the American Tank Dempsey. You get to play as the Russian, Nikolai Belinsky. The Japanese, Takio Masaki. You don't get to use a sword, unfortunately. Or you get to play as this guy, Edward Richtofen, the guy that chopped off his friend's head. But hey, their campaign, I think it's kind of like a pattern for them to use slow-mo at the end. But it is a great campaign because you get to make your own choices that change the outcome of the ending for you. Alright, number two, Fortnite from 2017. So Fortnite, you can pretty much build yourself and your friends a base to hold up in and just defend yourself. It's kind of like a cartoon version of Player Unknown Battlegrounds. You can run around with friends in the caverns, caves, mines, go find yourself some loot to improve your weapons, stronghold, and really anything like that. So you can also verse zombies, which I think is a pretty cool mode in there. I mean, who doesn't like to kill some zombies with your friends? Alright, I've never really been a sniper myself in video games, but in Fortnite, you kind of got to learn, because uh, you can get some pretty awesome kills, and a little bit of questionable kills sometimes, when using a sniper, and, you know, you don't even have to use a sniper to get, you know, sniping kills. But hey, you can also set some traps, 
two kill people that are chasing you, loot them right after the trap kill. Careful though, because sometimes what you build may backfire on you and cause the death of yourself or a teammate. But you know what the best part about Fortnite is? It's flipping, flopping, free. Go download it, guys. And now for number one, which I'm sure none of you could have guessed, it's Roblox. Boys, yeet, get that out of here. You all know what it is. It's Rainbow Six Siege from 2015. Alright guys, so this one's going to be a little bit longer. This clip is going to be two minutes long to talk about it. So, basically what you're doing is you are assigned to a squad and a team called Team Rainbow. Now, you have to pretty much eliminate the terrorist call in situations. It's a very small portion of the game. Um, these videos that they give you make it look like it's going to be a huge part of the game. It's really not. It's rather a small part. But it doesn't change the fact on how it kind of like sets the basis for a terrorist uh, elimination kind of game. Now Rainbow Six has been going very strong for three continuous years and is still on the rise. Now Alpha Packs in Rainbow Six can be only be gained by gameplay and spending renown which can only be gained again by gameplay. You cannot buy them through money so it's kind of a nice concept to really earn them with hard work. Plus, they are only aesthetics. Siege is a great fun game in that you will have tons of laughs with your friends, but you also sometimes once in a while gotta depend on luck like in here. You know, not all skills, sometimes you will get a lucky shot, but you definitely will have a lot of laughs with friends and awesome moments going on. But, don't get me wrong, this game when you first get it, it will kick your butt. When I was new at the game, as well as my best friend, him and I would try and play and we'd be super happy if we got one kill within a game. Now obviously all of us are more into the game, we know more about it and we know how to play it more. It just takes time guys and practice as every game does, but 100% I would recommend this to anyone that's looking for a new game to play with friends. Definitely have some great laughs during the way guys. Alright guys, so that concludes our top 10 multiplayer video game list for today. Thank you so much for tuning in and for watching the video today. Don't forget to tell your friends about my newest videos and my channel. I'd greatly appreciate the spread of word. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe guys. I will see you all in the next video. Peace.